everybody loves getting free stuff in the mail. Well, look what we got yesterday. Come with me as I show you what we got inside this fantastic box. Welcome to Gardening with Creekside. I am Jenny and today we have got a fantastic, fun unboxing to show you. So our friends at Southern Living Plants contacted us and asked us if we would like to trial some of their new introductions for next year. Well, of course we said yes, we love trialing new plants. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all of the fantastic shrubs that they sent us and to let you know to be on the lookout because all of these shrubs will be going into future projects here at the house and at the nursery. So this is a great little overview of all these fantastic plants. They're gorgeous. That's just all there is to it. They are simply fantastic. The first one that I want to show you is this really unique brand new distillium. We love distilliums for our southern climate. This one is Jewel Box Distillium. It is, has just a really unique fine foliage on it. So this is going to be in the full sun to part shade. So it's very adaptable. It is going to be two to three feet tall by three to four feet wide. It's one reason why we love distilliums because they are typically wider than they are tall. They make great foundation plantings. What do I mean by foundation planting? Like in front of your house, um, this is not going to get too big. It'd be great to go underneath some windows. It is evergreen. So you're going to have that great structure year round and it um, is hardy in zones seven to nine. So again, perfect. We have grown distilliums different um, varieties of distilliums here at the nursery and they have all done fantastic but the foliage on this is just absolutely exquisite it is just a really fine foliage and you can see again how it has that arching habit to it um, just kind of a weeping effect to it gorgeous 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 love this plant so it will be going into the patio area at some point okay next so we're going to put that sweet thing right there. This might be about one of the most exciting plants I've ever seen. You'll understand in just a minute. If you've watched us for any amount of time, you can understand and appreciate my love for gardenias. Now, this is no ordinary gardenia. This is going to be a columnar gardenia. What do I mean by columnar? I mean that it is going to be tall, three to four feet tall than it is wide. It's only gonna be two feet wide. So you can, it's gonna have a natural habit of going up and being skinnier. So it will make a fantastic focal point. You can put it in a container, you can put it in the landscape. My plan for this beauty is to put it on both sides of the steps at the patio. What is the name of this gorgeous girl? This is Diamond Spire Gardenia. Just the foliage alone is beautiful really thick rich deep dark green foliage of course your new foliage is that light green it will be a single bloom of a gardenia so when we say a single bloom that just means that it's the pe petals are flat it's not like a double bloom of course it has that classic gorgeous gardenia scent that you know i absolutely love um, it will be great for the full sun to part shade. Gardenias do really enjoy the sun, so the more sun and the more heat you can give them, typically the better they do. And they're gonna again, gonna be hardy in zones seven to 10. So these are very heat tolerant. And even here in North Carolina in our zone 7B, they will do fantastic. But just an absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, different spin on a gardenia. Oh, so excited about this one. And then next, now this, well, I say I'm most excited about that gardenia, but there's a lot of things I'm excited about. This one is a really unique one. Now you might kind of be like, what? When I tell you what this is, this is a magnolia. Mm -hmm. It sure is. 
This is Stellar Ruby Magnolia also known as a banana shrub. So this is not gonna be the typical big, huge southern magnolia that we think of. It's gonna be more like the tulip magnolias. They're gonna have these gorgeous buds that turn into these beautiful ruby colored blooms, both in the spring and then sporadically through the summer and the fall. She right now is absolutely loaded with blooms. And what's really neat too, because this is a banana shrub, when the blooms open up, they're gonna have a slight banana smell. I cannot wait for that to happen because I've never smelled a banana shrub before and I just think it'd be fantastic. Now, this is gonna be a great focal point because it is truly a tree. So it can get six to 10 feet tall by six to eight feet wide. So it will be an absolutely gorgeous specimen plant in your garden. Um, this would not be something that you're gonna wanna plant in a, in a pot, definitely goes into the landscape and it is hardy in zones seven to nine. But just that great, gorgeous evergreen foliage, really pretty when the blooms open up, like I said, I just cannot wait to see how they open up and the colors that they are, but just that great ruby color. Um, it's just fantastic. Such a neat little spin on what we think of magnolias. Next, we have another gardenia. You know Jenny's all about some gardenias. This one is really cute. This is called Foolproof. Now, Foolproof is going to have your double blooms, so those nice, big, thick, rosebud type gardenia blooms, that classic gardenia smell, really neat. Um, it is, again, remember gardenias like the sun, full sun to part shade. This one is only going to be about three to four feet tall by three feet wide, and it's going to be hardy in zones seven to ten. This one's really neat because it does have a different um, foliage to it. It's a little bit of a finer foliage, not quite as thick and waxy as the diamond spire, but just a really unique shape of, of the leaf and all of the texture to it. So I love pairing all of these together because you've got different leaf types on it. Now, you're just gonna, I mean, gardenias. What's not to love about a gardenia? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. If I had a bloom going, you know, I'd pop one in my hair. But here we go, next. Now, camellias. Southern Living is known for their gorgeous camellias. And this is a new one for them. They have a fantastic line of camellias already. So this is gonna be a new addition to it. And if you were familiar at all with gardenias, you may be familiar with the um, shishi gardenia. Gardenia, it's not a gardenia, it's a camellia. See, I got gardenias on my brain. Um, a camellia, so sh this is shishi white. So shishi is just, the other shishi is just a classic camellia because it is more wide than it is tall. Camellias come in a range of colors and a range of sizes. This one's gonna be really neat because it's gonna be more petite. It's not gonna be that 10 to 12 foot tall camellia that can get out of control. Um, this is gonna be a perfect one to put in your landscape. You could use it as a foundation planting because it is only going to get three to four feet tall by three to four feet wide. Just has pure white blooms on it, classic, just very refined, very elegant blooms that will begin in October and then will bloom throughout until the early, early spring. This is gonna go back in the patio area because I'm doing that green and white theme. And so this will bring me lots of loads of color in the fall and winter when everything else maybe is in dormancy, is not blooming. This will be gorgeous and, and blooming in all of her glory. And right now she is covered in buds. Now, she, she white is going to be hardy in zones seven to nine, and it is full sun to part shade. There we go. Now, two more that we have left, Encore Azaleas. So this is a new addition to the Encore Azalea Club. This is Encore Autumn Majesty. So remember that all the Encore Azaleas have autumn as the front of their name because it is a reminder that this will bloom again in the fall. So not only does it bloom in the spring, it will bloom in the summer and then again in the fall. Now Autumn Majesty is really neat because it has, it's a double purple bloom that is a petite size. So the blooms are not going to be as big and as fat, nice petite, um, just a gorgeous, beautiful bloom on it. The plant itself is going to be three feet tall by three and a half feet wide. 
If you had a really large pot and you're looking to bring a focal point to your garden, you could put this in a large pot. Obviously, it will do great in the landscape. Um, it's hardy in zones 6A to 10. So this is one of the most cold hardy azaleas that is out there because even our folks in zone 6A can grow it and do well with it. So Autumn Majesty, really, really beautiful blooms on it. Um, just I love it. And of course, your encores love the sun. They absolutely drink the sun for breakfast. So they have, people will ask, you know, can it really do full sun? Yes, it can do full sun up to a little bit of light shade. So just so you know, you can have a couple of hours of shade. And then finally, we have a hydrangea. This is heartthrob. Heartthrob is going to be a semi-dwarf hydrangea. She is part sun to shade. So she's going to be more of your shade hydrangea, not the sun-loving hydrangeas. That classic um, mop head. It is going to be three feet tall by three feet wide. Easy peasy. And it is hardy in zones five to nine. So for us being in a zone seven, like that is perfection. We is definitely cold hardy enough and it's definitely not too hot. So for us in zone seven, I like having that two zone buffer. So this is going to be a great one. Um, it is going to be, let me tell you a little bit about this. It will be dark red blooms with a little bit of green on the outside edges. So this is color specific. It is not going to be dependent on your soil's pH. So the color that it is, is the color that it is. It's not going to change. Um, just an absolutely gorgeous one. Very compact. So if you have a small space, heartthrob would be a great one. But that is our plant haul from Southern Living Plants. We are so excited to try these out. Like I said, stay tuned because there's going to be a lot of videos coming up where we're going to be showing you how we are going to incorporate these beautiful plants into our landscape, both here at the house and at the nursery. As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to Gardening with Creekside. Y'all have a fantastic day and we'll see you next time. Bye friends.